Good morning, third graders. It's Mrs. Fernandi, and we're going to do another week of word work and spelling. So make sure you have a notebook and a pencil, or maybe your teacher gave you a list of the words for this week that I sent. If you have that, great. You can follow along with that. And if you don't, just use your paper and pencil. All right, let's get started. I'm going to share my PowerPoint for this week right from the beginning here. We are going to talk about the long O sound. Remember when we talk about a vowel, is, it has a long sound and a short sound. The long sound just means the way we say its name. So O is the long sound for the letter O. A is the long sound for the letter A. So sometimes long O can be spelled O-A or O-W, like here for boat. The sound long O at the beginning or middle of a word is often spelled O-A. Sometimes it's spelled O-W. Let me show you boat in the middle. Um, I hope my paper boat will float. So we also have throat. Oh, I think I'm getting a sore throat. O-A in the middle. Snowboard. These well, uh, snowmen like to snowboard. We have the O-W, which is technically at the end of the word snow, and board, um, the O-A in the middle there own. This is my very own book, O-W, at the beginning. Sometimes the long O is spelled O-W uh, at the end of the word. Actually, most of the time, the long O is spelled O-W at the end of the word. Like in low, grow, snow, blow, shadow. Those are all long O sound at the end of a word. That's pretty much that part of it. So I'm going to stop sharing that and I'm going to pull up today my Word doc of words. This is where if you have this list, you can follow along with me now on um, the words that we're going to look at. So the first one again is the word boat. OA is our sound there at the in the middle of the word boat. Whoa. Oh my heavens. What happened there? Let me see if I can undo that. Oh no. I hope I can. Nope, it doesn't want to go away. Mm, that is a shame. Oh, there we go. Let's erase it. Oop, that, that was it. Thank you for bearing with me. Okay, so we have OA, boat in the middle. Low, long O at the end, OW. Grow, long O at the end. We have the word November, three syllables, no them -ber. We have no, that open long O at the beginning, them, and then ber, er, the three main ways to spell er. We always use er, the first one at the end of a word. Throat, O A in the middle, snow, long O at the end, board, that is O A. It is a little bit influenced by the R, that's a super strong constant, so it is a little R influenced. O can also still be made. With a silent E at the end, you already know that. The E makes the O say its name, makes it a long O note. Do, we just have to learn that O sound, e, U, E. The library book was do yesterday. Truth, O in the middle of this word is that O sound also. Uh, and then the next one, toe, an unusual long O sound at the end of the word can also be spelled O, E, O along. The main thing I want to point out with along is a, uh, the a, is the way we're spelling the, oh, the schwa in this uh, word, a, uh, long. And then of course you already know how to spell long, l-o-n-g, like a long rope. Let's look at some review words. We have Thursday, always noticing this is a capital T because it is the name of a week. Thur, -er, there's e-r, i-r, u-r. We're choosing that third way to spell er. Thursday, long A sound at the end of the word, if you remember, is spelled A-Y. Wait, the long A sound in the middle of the word is spelled A-I. Saturday, oh, isn't that interesting that Thursday and Saturday both choose the third way to spell er, you are in the middle of the word there. Day, long A sound at the end is spelled A-Y. 
again with May, the month of May. Again, look at that. We capitalize the S for Saturday. We capitalize the M for May because we're talking about the month and the A-Y, the long A sound spelled A-Y at the end. Those, here's an example of long O that is helped by the silent E at the end. Those and main, that long A sound in the middle of the word is A. Over, here we have the open O and then ver, the er sound at the end, er, E-R. Hair, that is an A-I sound, it should be A, but because of the R and the R being such a strong consonant, it does kind of control the A-R and A-I and changes that sound a bit. None, do you remember our little mnemonic, our little memory device for none? We can say three, two, one, none. So when there aren't any left, like when there are, the cookies are all gone, there are none. It is the word one, which you can spell with an N in front of it, none. Monday, capital M for the day of the week, and A-Y at the end. Straight, we have that A-I long A sound in the middle of the word straight with the silent G-H followed by the T. With 18, we have the very unusual A sound being made by E-I with the silent G-H team there. Okay, now if you can make sure that even if you didn't have your word list, you have some piece of paper or something in order for you to do a little guided spelling with me. So your first word today is boat. I hope my boat will float down the river. But oat, that's that long O-A sound in the middle of the word. Same with the word, just I'm just going to throw it in here. Float, right? They rhyme and they both have that O-A sound. Low, we searched high and low for the missing book. Low O, it's at the end of the word, so I'm going to use the O-W. The next word is grow. I hope my garden will grow um, this summer. November, we have the name of a month, so we have to start with a capital N, no, and then write the word, write the syllable them. You can hear every sound in them. And then burr, E-R at the end of a word, November. Do, the library book was due yesterday. That's one we just have to remember, D-U-E, ooh sound. And truth, same thing, the ooh sound is just made with the letter U at the end of truth. So let me just, oops, oops, where do we go here? Oh, let's move it over here. Okay, so the next word is toe. My dog stepped on my toe. Long O sound here is made a little bit unusual, just with the O and then the E right after it. And the last word for today is along. A uh, is that schwa. We're going to spell it with the letter A. And then we're going to write the word long. We have a long way to go to get home. Long, right? Okay. Looks like you did great today. Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. Um, stay safe, stay well, and I will see you next time.